Welcome back to my math YouTube channel. I'm back with another challenge example on finding the derivative this time of a function of the form sine x to the power x. Guys, in a way, it is kind of similar to what I did with example one in my challenge problem section, but instead of just an x to the power x, it is a trig function raised to the power x, but it is still similar in a way that there's a variable as a base and the exponent is also a variable. Again, we don't have any direct methods or direct ways of writing the derivative of this function. So what one is going to do here is that we are going to apply the natural log on both sides or you can apply other logs as well, but it's going to be easier to apply the natural log on both sides. So once we apply the natural logs, guys, if you have already watched my first video or you already have an understanding of the exponential functions and their inverses, which is the logs, you know that by applying the logs on the right hand side, we will be able to simplify or convert this transcendental function into something simpler and something simpler by something simpler. I also mean that some we can convert it into those functions that we can we know how to like find the derivative of. OK, so let us start by applying the natural log on both sides. Ln of y. And if I apply the same thing to the right hand side, I'm just going to first write the step. So applying this lateral log on both sides, which is what I'm doing here. Now, if I look at this right hand side, again, it is a power rule that it, because it's some quantity raised to power the other quantity. So we can use the power rule for the logs using the power rule for the logs. This becomes x. So the exponent comes up front. So it is x times ln of sine of x. So guys, once I simplify this to this, now I'm going to ignore this. I don't really need to look at this. I'm going to focus on this guy and this guy. From here, we know we want to evaluate the derivative of this fun y function. So what we have to do to both sides is we have to take the derivative on both sides because we want to find the derivative. What else can we do? So to find the derivative of y, uh, we have to apply derivative on both sides. So it's like d over dx of ln of y. And if I take the derivative on left, I got to take the derivative on the right as well. Uh, this is x times ln of sine of x. Now let us uh, start applying the derivative to both sides, guys. This is ln of y. We know the derivative of an ln of x is just the inverse function. Same thing here, 1 over y, but we cannot stop just here. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inner, which in this case is dy over dx, because this is like my inner, right? And then equals to, guys, this we got to just treat this as function f and this as function, this whole thing as function g and use the product rule on that. So derivative of f is just 1 times just ln of this whole thing sine of x. And then plus we have to take the derivative of this ln of sine x. Again, taking the derivative of ln of sine x is not too complicated. One has to use the chain rule. First, one has to know what is the derivative of an ln function, which is 1 over which is the inverse 1 over sine x in this case because I don't have just an x, I have a sine x function, so it's 1 over sine x. But then I got to multiply by the derivative of the inner. In this case, the inner is sine x. And what is the derivative of sine x, guys? The derivative of sine x is just the cosine x. Uh, but we cannot stop right here. We still have to multiply by the f function using the product rule, so it's times x. Guys, from here, I need dy over dx. So let me still write the next step, 1 over y. Uh, dy over dx. Let me change it to y prime. I mean, you can leave it as dy over dx. Then it's ln of sine of x plus, guys, this is cosine x, cosine x over sine x times nx. Guys, well, we already know that the ratio of the cosine over sine is the cotangent. So let me actually write it over here. So I have this. Well, you know, the other thing that I can do here, again, I'm doing all this in one step because of, I don't have too much room here. Guys, uh, we want y prime by itself. So we got to multiply both sides by y, the left hand side, as well as the right hand side. The y's cross out. So I will have only y prime on the left hand side, right? And on the right hand side, I have y times this whole thing. But guys, do I already have y in terms of x? Yes, it is already given to me, right? Since it's already given to me, so I can replace that y with sine x raised to the power x and then what is left in the parentheses or whatever is left in the parentheses i just have to rewrite it so guys i think i will write it like this there's sine x to the power x and then times ln of sine of x ln of sine of x right and then there's a plus 
plus cosine over sine we know is the cotangent so I'm going to write cotangent of x and then there's a times x so why don't I bring that x in the front so it's like x times cotangent of x that is my final answer or final value for the derivative of this function so guys again this was similar to my example one for this challenge problem section you have to apply or you have to take the natural log on both sides then you simplify then you take, apply the derivative on both sides and then uh, you just follow through these steps guys i will see you in the next video with another challenge problem till then take care